Hello everyone. Welcome to Ankamitra's Abacus tutorial for lesson number 4. In this we'll be studying how to when and how to do big friend addition. Okay. So the concept of big friend addition will be explained in this video. Uh, before this we have already seen in lesson number 1 the identification of numbers, lesson number 2 the small friend addition part, lesson number 3 the small friend subtraction part. So these three things have to be learned before we come to big friend addition that is lesson number 4. So I hope all of the, you who, have, who are watching this video have already uh, seen and understood the concepts taught in the previous three lessons. Okay, so now let's start with lesson number 4. So when do we use big friend addition? That is the first question that we'll answer. So I have written down these numbers 1 to 9. Okay, 1, 2, 3 and 4 separately, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in a different uh, section. What happens is whenever we are thinking of adding any of these four numbers, 1, 2, 3 and 4, these four digits or these four numbers have got small friends. Okay, and these ones do not have small friends. So whenever we are adding 1, 2, 3 or 4, first we need to check whether we can do it with small friend or not. And only when we are not able to do it with small friend, then we come to big friend. Okay, whereas for these numbers, there are no small friends. So whenever we are falling short of beads while adding any of these numbers, we directly use their respective big friends. Okay, so let's look at, uh, uh, look at it with examples now. Let's say we are supposed to add the digit 3 repeatedly. Okay, I'm taking one of the digits from these four numbers so that you understand the concept when it is used, when the big friend is used. Okay, so let's take one digit from this. I'm taking the digit 3. Let's say we are supposed to add the number 3 repeatedly. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 like that we'll continue to do. So this we have 0 on the abacus right now. I'll take the first 3 directly. We have 3 bits available. No problem. Okay, so for the second time when we add 3, we don't have enough bits on the abacus. In this case, what we do is, since we don't have enough beads uh, for, to add 3, we check whether we have the bead of 5 available or not. In this case, we do have the bead of 5 available. So here, we can add the 3 using its small friend formula, which we have seen in the section, lesson number 2. So like, we'll do plus 5 minus 2 and finish the addition of 3 the second time. Now, while adding another 3, We'll again check whether we have enough beads or not. This time we have enough beads. We have three beads available. So I can directly add the third three. Now coming to the next th uh, three addition of three. That is the fourth time. While adding three, we don't have enough beads here now on the lower side. And even the upper bead of five has been al used already. Okay. So now in this situation, when we cannot do it directly, we cannot do it using its small friend formula. Only in that situation, we use its big friend formula. Okay, so the big friend of 3 is 7. Now, how do we arrive at the big friends? Like in small friends, we use the single hand fingers. That is, uh, f out of 5 fingers, we were uh, identifying the small friends. Now, in case of big friend, we'll be doing it with the use of uh, 10 fingers of both the hands. Okay, so from 10, whenever you subtract any of these numbers from 10, we get their respective big friends so subtracting 3 from 10 we get 7 okay so uh, 7 is the big friend of 3 likewise you can see i have uh, put it in a different color here 1 and 9 are big friends of each other so while adding 1 we are doing minus 9 plus 10 and here while uh, adding 9 will be doing minus 1 plus 10 okay so 1 and 9 are big friends of each other Similarly, 2 and 8 are big friends of each other. 2 and 8 uh, here and 8 and 2 here. Okay, so they are both big friends of each other. Similarly, 3 and 7, 7 and 3, 4 and 6, 6 and 4. Okay, and in case of 5, 5 itself is the big friend of its own. Okay, so let's see how we use it. We are adding 3 in this case. We have 9 on the abacus right now and we are supposed to add 3 and we have already seen that we cannot do it directly. We cannot do it using its small friend formula. Hence, we are coming and coming to the big friend formula now. For 
adding of addition of 3 what we do is we subtract its big friend and add 10 that is a bead on the next left rod okay so we'll subtract 7 here on the primary rod and add 10 on the next left rod okay a single bead addition on the next left rod means the addition of 10 okay so we use this plus 10 part to finish the big friend add formula now let's look at another example. Suppose we have to add the number 2 repeatedly. Okay, I'll add the first 2 directly. No problem, we have enough beads. For addition of another 2, again we have enough beads, so I can add 2 again. For addition of another 2, I, I cannot do it directly because we don't have enough beads here. I can use the small friend formula because we have the upper bead of 5 available. So I'll do plus 5 minus 3 and finish the addition of 2. Now for adding another 2, we have enough beads so I can do it directly. Now for adding another 2 this time, we don't have enough beads on the lower side and the upper bead of 5 is already used. Hence we use the big friend formula of plus 2. Big friend of 2 is 8. So we subtract 8 and add 10 on the next left rod. So subtracting 8 on the primary rod and adding 10 on the next left rod, we finish the addition of 2. Okay, so uh, I hope you understood how we use the uh, big friend of any of these numbers. So what we do is we subtract the big friend from the primary rod where we are doing the calculation and then add a single bead on the next left rod which represents the addition of 10. Okay, so let's look at more examples now in these digits. Um, for these digits, we have already explained that we first check whether we can do it with small friend or not. And when we cannot do it with small friend, only then we come to big friends. In, in case of these digits, there are no small friends. So we directly think of big friends whenever we are falling short of the beads. So let's look at an example. Suppose I have the number uh, 29 with me on the abacus. Okay. So in 29, suppose I am to add the digit 6. Now for adding 6 on the uh, units place rod, I'll check whether I have, I have 6 beads available. No, this time I don't have because all the beads have been used. So for addition of 6, I directly think of its big friend. The big friend of 6 is 4. Okay, so what I do is I subtract 4 from the primary rod where we are doing the calculation. So I subtract 4 here and add 10 on the next left rod to finish the addition of 6. Okay, so subtracting its friend and then adding 10 on the next left rod finishes the addition of 6. Similarly, now I have 35 here and so if I am supposed to add another 5 in this. So again, since the 5 is already used, I cannot add 5 directly. So hence, I will use its big friend which is the big friend of 5 is 5 itself. So 5 will be subtracted and 10 will be added on, on the next left rod. So I'll subtract 5 on the primary rod and add 10 on the next left rod to finish the addition of 5. Okay. So let's look at our example where we are adding two two digit numbers. Let's say I have the number 38 with me and I'm supposed to add 87 in this. Now for addition of 87 in this, I need to first add 8 on the 10th place rod. To add 8 on the 10th place rod, I'll check I don't have enough beads to add 8 directly. Hence, I'll use its big friend formula. Big friend of 8 is 2. Okay, so I'll subtract 2 on the primary rod where we are supposed to add 8. I am subtracting 2 on this rod and adding 10 on the next left rod. Okay, so in this way I finish the, with the addition of 8 on the 10th place. Now coming to the units place, I am supposed to add 7. Okay, we were to add 87 in the original number. So to add 7 on the units place, I don't have 7 beads to add directly. Hence, I will use its big friend formula. So big friend of 7 is 3. So I will subtract 3 on the primary rod and add 10 on the next left rod. Okay, so in this way, we have finished the addition of 87. So 38 plus 87, we got the answer as 125. Let's look at another example. Suppose I am to add uh, first number 97 and second number 
let's say we want to add uh, 24 in this now to add 24 i need to add 2 on the tens place rod i don't have two beads available neither do i have the bead of 5 available with me hence i cannot add 2 using uh, either directly or using its small friend formula hence i'll be adding 2 using its big friend formula here so big friend of 2 is 8 so i'll subtract 8 on this primary rod and then add 10 on the next left rod to finish the addition of 2 on the tens place. Now coming to the units place, I'm supposed to add 4 in this. Okay, so to add 4, I don't have 4 beads available, enough beads available here. Neither do I have the bead of 5 available here. Hence, I'll be using the big friend of 4, which is 6. So I'll subtract 6 on the primary rod and add 10 on the next left rod and finish the addition of 24. So the answer that we have is 121. So I hope in this fashion uh, you, you can add any of these digits using the respective big friend formula. I have explained the situation in which the big friend is used. I will repeat it once again quickly, the final summary point. In case while adding any of these four numbers, okay, one, two, three, and four, any of these four numbers, first we have to check whether we can add using the its small friend formula, okay. So, whenever we are falling short of enough beads to add any of these numbers directly, we'll first check whether we can add using its small friend formula. For that, the bead of five needs to be available. If the bead of 5 is not available to add, only then we use the big friend formula. Okay, so big, for big friend, we need the bead of 10, that is the next left rod, and that is always available. So we can we use the big friend in case of these numbers only after checking and confirming that it cannot be done using its small friend. And for these numbers, starting from 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, for these numbers there are no small friends. Hence, while adding these numbers, if we fall short of the beads, then we directly use its big friend formula. Okay. 